Flowhow, sales of Molex 3D and consultancy, specialists in injection molding simulations. Hello, Matthias Jaspersen from Flowhow. In this video, I want to show you Moldex 3D Designer with a boundary layer, boundary layer mode, uh, how to uh, do uh, the meshing with a five boundary layer mesh. It's a Moldex release 14 with service pack two I'm using. First, I'll import a plate, just a simple plate. Then I'll add some um, runner system. In this case, I'll just put in some gate points and we can put in a runner system here. We can adjust it a bit. Like that, cold slot, like that, maybe a bit. No, that's fine. Like that. I'll put in a mold base. <clears throat> 180, 180, maybe. Put in a, some cooling channels. I'll use the scroll mouse in those uh, here, or you can use the arrows up and down. A bit more height. Put it down there. <clears throat> Diameter up to eight. I can connect them via hoses. Hoses is then then the water is not calculated. The water flow outside the mold is not calculated into the uh, energy and temperature calculations. Uh, I can use a channel. In this case, I'll just use a channel. in and out for the cooling water yes check the cooling water yeah fine and then i'll go to meshing molex 3d is uh, fully 3d so uh, every single part of what i have put into the model Yet, even though that it's uh, defined by lines, will be missed as a, as a real 3D geometry. The cavity, in this case, five boundary layers, offset ratio may be 1.4. This is how the runner will be missed with two washer layer or boundary layer i could put it up to three or i could take the cooling channels and say okay uh, let's say four then i'll get a like that but two is fine in this case now i know how it should mesh the every part in the model then i'll put uh, node seating on this is how uh, fine the mesh should be normally i take a mesh seating that's uh, approximately uh, the same of the thickness or a bit smaller so in this case i'll put 1.5 on let's see how it looks uh, apply Maybe I should go for one, then I, 
no, 1.5 is fine. Like that. And if there's any, uh, any biasing I would change, then I could uh, mark them, mark a line and give it a, another mesh size. Could be one here. You wouldn't uh, do that normally, but could be some features that you want to a uh, bit finer mesh on. And now over to the meshing. <clears throat> now I want to generate the mesh and uh, there's a new thing in uh, release 14. It's if I double click here, I put in a small pin and this pin indicates where to the mesh meshing will uh, will go if i put it in here the mesh it will make a surface mesh of the part and then it will stop if i put the pin down here it will make a surface mesh of the part solid mesh of the part and the solid mesh of a runner but um and if i don't if i leave the pin out and hit generate, it will mesh the whole thing at once. In this case, I will try to do it up to here. So. We have a mesh here. I can cut through with this chisel so we can have a look at the mesh, how it looks. So we have a mesh of five boundary layers and we have a good connection here and a runner mesh. And then we have some tetra inside the boundary layer mesh. Maybe I should change the mesh meshing a bit because I think they're a bit squeezed, those elements, the tetras inside. So I'll just hit this and I'll go down to here and take the offset ratio to one, like that, generate. Keep the solid mesh, no. I'll generate again. Oops. I said I'll generate again. And we can try to chisel again to have a look at the mesh in here. Yeah, now they're not that squeezed. So uh, in this case, I would say, okay, it looks fine. Then I can hit the, take this one, generate and the meshing of the cooling channels is generated. We can take a cut through also here to have a look inside. Yes. And then generate the mode base. Takes a bit time. It should. It's now connecting everything with the tetra elements inside. And if I cut through, it's a full solid. Uh, 
model now with a cavity, some cooling chance and a runner system. Also, so uh, switch that off and then I'm ready to save mesh file and go for the simulation. That's it for this time. Thank you for watch watching this video and uh, see you again later. Bye.